All right, we just got the cam bolt popped. <laughs> oh, that's the awesomest tool in the world. Harbor Freight, a crescent wrench, and a few drills. That is by far the easiest crank I've ever taken off in my life. That is the way to do it. Done. It's a cool thing about this video is you can go back through as you need. You know, you get hung up on a part, you can easily just pause it. You know, we make that convenient for you. But only if you subscribe. Knowledge is free on this channel, but you must subscribe. You don't want to tighten all your bolts until you get both bolts in and all the way down. Imagine the torque on these are probably going to be like 122 inch pounds. I know they're like, in eight, they're like 18 foot pounds or like 11 foot pounds piece. About what this drill would do. I've seen guys uh, just use that and go. Yep. They don't come back with a torque range. Yeah, well, that's what you're doing here in a hurry, hurry though. No, that's what they do at all the mechanic shops I've noticed. Oh, yeah, it's a numbers game though. All right, don't pull that pin until you got your chain on. Call this grenade pin style tiny chain. Kind of helpful if I can get this out. Now, one of the things I found over time doing these jobs is that heating this gear up is the easiest thing to do to put it on. It doesn't require banging. It doesn't require a lot of uh, torture of the motor. I will tell you this, there is a front and a back side. And the back, you put the back in the front, the front and the back, first of all you won't have your timing mark. But the back edge is beveled so it actually sits where it should ride for the chain to come in. So now we're going to heat this up and get this piece on. Make sure you have gloves when you do this. Now I usually do this in a barbecue, but uh, we got this torch and we're trying different things. You got too much gas there. Yeah, no, I do realize that. Now you don't need to get it red hot, about 350 degrees, and that'll be sufficient enough to get it on, maybe with a couple light taps, but it's nothing violent. Take your heat off. Uh, about 157. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it should be able to go. This needs to be expanded just enough for it to slide. See? I went right on, no pounding. Nope, no pounding needed. Just give it a couple of loud love taps just to make sure it's seated, but that's pretty much that. Not very hard, I don't need it. Just make sure it's bottomed out and that's it. So you see, heating it up 250. I said 350. I set my barbecue for 500. Yeah, well, I'm afraid it's going to cook that plastic. Well, keep cooling it off. But remember that, because especially with 350s or anything that requires a gear, that trick right there will save your butt time. Yeah, plus it's warm. Not bad though. You gotta think at an engine it's gonna be at least 200 degrees. All right, we're gonna move on to the next step. <laughs> 